So was this a choice? Oh yeah, it's a big choice. I checked out. During COVID or when? I'm checking out in general. Just, I'm just all set. I'm all set. But is there anything that led you to checking? And everything. So we got an upgrade in here? I this boat. Have you been no, this boat? it hasn't. I've been in this boat for a minute with Sal just when you dropped off a hard yeah. drive one day. No, nothing upgraded since. But um, nobody's going to pull you over in that. Nobody's going to pull you over all in all this. And this combo. <laughs> I mean, it's a free ticket to mayhem. <laughs> What we're gonna do here, get this boat tied to that dock. I mean, sure, it looks like shit right now, but it didn't when I parked it. That's what matters. I don't. Good enough to save my boat? Seem fine to me. It's not. You see how it's all the way over there? You can That's... get it back. Huh? I believe in you. Pivot. Oh, I love getting on this boat. Forgot to take the fucking window thing off, but it's okay. You got anything you want to do with it first? Uh, I want to get Raven her her supplies that she needs. So, we'll do that and then we'll come back out and we'll go play. Calm waters today. It's gonna be a good day. Wow, the side of the boat needs to get washed. She's a dirty whore. Did you say whore on YouTube? I think so. I bought the entire store out of this kind of dull juice and Greek yogurt. You get water? Fuck, Kyle. <laughs> I need that to survive. All you need for liquid nutrition is bang. And nutrition is a word. Nutrition? Well, now you know. Okay. What would that mean? Where are we going? <laughs> Some place I've been trying to go for a long time. The bar. Wow, it's nice. So make sure your life jacket is fully mounted to your body. Take me to the bar, Captain. I just heard there was a captain that just had trouble at the bar. Like the Coast Guard just went out there and had to render assistance. So you heard that and you just had to go. I've been waiting to go for a while. I've just been hoping they'd be in good conditions. The Coast Guard doesn't take this type of boat out in heavier than like six or seven foot seas because they have other options. Doesn't mean it can't handle more, right? Yeah. They said it's supposed to be 10 to 12. That's big. That's a big wave. <laughs> Rollers. Seems like it's way harder to flip than most boats. Yeah, but also, you notice how all the, uh, the words are upside down? What does that mean? That's for when you flip. I don't know how far we want to go into that. Yeah, I mean, those, those things are breaking. I don't see how we can get past the break. 
can I? That the breakers right there? Yeah. I think it flip us. It'd be very hard to get past that break, I feel like. I don't know if it would flip us. I mean Tom Cruise did, or Tom Hanks did it in Castaway. I just say that. Yeah. That's how you do that. Um, I don't have any lines on here though. You like that? Oh, I like it so much. First time I actually ever finished it like that. Finally I got it. It's a big, big moment. Morning, Pat. Don't talk to me, Kyle. I haven't had my bang yet. Where are you taking me today? Well, 10 days ago, about 40 miles off the coast, a container ship lost six, sorry, six, is it five? Six, five or six, 20 foot containers. And they're now floating south. And uh, we got a coordinate location from the Coast Guard. So we're gonna go try to salvage it because there's something called salvage rights. Plan is, I'm gonna go down to Ace and I'm gonna grab like a 20 volt DeWalt uh, circular saw and I guess get on the top of a container in the middle of the ocean and cut it open and see what's inside. It's time to get your weekend back and turn your to-do list into a to-done list. Ace, the helpful place. Yes, sir. I, I, I follow you. Thank you. Check out <laughs> what he brought. <laughs> I got two batteries. I got a blade so I can cut stuff. Oh, see, that's not me. It sounds like me, but it's not me. And that's my multi-tool. It's a big, it's a big Oh, egg. God, that's why we don't get out of here. <laughs> Are you on the hunt? My baby mama is not gonna believe me. Dude, this is awesome. Nice to meet you, brother. Dude, this is so cool. To see you. I remember, remember, remember to put my freaking bra on. I have a posture thing. What do you have to do today? Fuck, not shit. Actually, um, I have this woman coming over. She's gonna, uh, I guess, interview me about travel. Mostly. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, the, the teacher. Yeah. I'm <laughs> going 40 miles out. Right now? Yeah. Ooh, I should really find out when she's gonna be here then. There's co there's six Connex boxes. Okay. 40 miles out. Okay. So. It'll take you like 10 minutes to get there. What? How fast does your Zodiac go? 40. It'll take me an hour to get there. Is see that what? offer still good? What? Yeah. To go with you? Yeah. Let me see what's going on with this teacher lady. Okay. I gotta. I just gotta fix a power issue on the boat, so I'll probably be getting out of here in the next half hour. Okay. I'll and try I'll, to make it quick. No, I'll come. I'll come by before I take off. Sweet. Take your time. I think there's a problem with the house battery. That's a big problem. Everything runs except for the fucking nav and my fucking cool ass little radio right here. What's up, feel one fit, feel one fit, what's up, one say, what's up, feel one fit, what's up, what's up? That's how you call out on a radio. People don't know that. You're gonna be that kind of a guy today, huh? But why? For why, Ari? For why, Ari? Fifty one fifty radio check, fifty one fifty radio check, fifty one fifty radio check. Have you left clear? 
Bye bye, thank you. East winds 10 to 15 knots with gusts up to 20 knots. Sea 5 to 8 feet, rain, patchy fog. Visibility 1 to 3 nautical miles, break. Low goes out. Yeah, we got radio back. We bypassed the house battery. I don't know what's wrong with that house battery, but it's a brand new battery too, so it's, I'm thinking it's something in the wiring, so it's good for today, but I'm not gonna say that it's good forever. We can just hit it a little yeah. faster. Hit it and see what happens. But Pat, for real, not, not too much faster because I might throw up. Okay. I gotta keep my, my wits back. Yeah, if we keep this 20 miles an hour, it'll only take us two hours to get there. You okay? I don't know, man. I don't feel that great. Right here. You want to try sitting up front? If you, yeah. I, I feel like. Uh, Switch it, Nate, for a minute. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm almost having a panic attack. Why? Because I'm like going to throw up and I'm like just, disoriented and. Uh, just look at the horizon and sit in the front. Can we slow down for one second? Yeah. One second. I got to like catch my bearings. Yeah. I've like never done this out here. I'm like very seasick. Okay. Do you want to go on the back deck and puke? You know, go up back so, deck, puke overboard? Yeah, I mean, for speed reasons, I don't know how you can get there. Yeah, we can't get at 40, there. At 40 knots yeah, we, in this. Yeah, we need like half of this. It looked nice earlier until we got out here. Yeah. It's like, that's probably when the tide changed. We just, just hold on, because there's a big wave right here. Oh. I'm, not, I'm not a seaman. Damn! <laughs> I know. There were these imposters here for like two days. I kicked them out each time though. I'm glad you're back. Kyle, you really need to clean your lens. That's dirty. That's, right. sh that's shameful. After this shot? It looks like it has chlamydia. What I'd like to do is go back to those containers or try to get to the containers. I think the seas are a little smaller today. We might get out there and we can do 36 knots. We might get out there and we can do 12 knots. So. My only concern is this engine that I think is overheating. What's supposed to happen is they're both supposed to piss as soon as I turn them on. So as soon as I turn them on, they should be cooling themselves with water and so it should exfil through the top. How does that change our ride? How you, the engines function? You can't use, we can't run that engine. So we're going on one engine right now. We can't go on one engine, it won't work. This is gonna be a bust. Fuck. This is the last day we could have gone. Well, the waves are predicted tomorrow to be 20 plus feet, which is nowhere near what we can handle. This boat is probably gonna be down and operate out of operation for the foreseeable next at least few weeks, I bet. What's up, Sam? Well, well, fuck. We happened to have it running while it was not getting enough water, so I ended up burning part of the impeller. So the metal gasket didn't get uh, spare pins, like I was saying, just get 
need a wire brush, you need marine grease, and I need an impeller kit for this Honda. But it looks like I can do it myself, so it won't take weeks. Take it out, take the fucking props off, find out if there's a bunch of kelp up in my impeller crap. God, I like that fishing boat this guy's got too, and my brother's all, that dude's Patty Mayo, dude. <laughs> And that's how you pack, power, 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 back up. I don't really fit in any, in any of the designated spots. Okay. Awesome, man. All right. Thanks. Yeah, no problem, brother. Have a good one. You too. Take it easy. Well, yeah. No, we need to stock up. And when do we stock up? Start stocking up. How long do you think that'll last you? 48 days. Kyle, why are you always filming weird shit? I'm so sorry. I should have turned the camera on. Just getting ready. You should have put your microphone on. Don't you fucking tell me what to do ever again. You're gonna go to this, uh boat shop place and see if I can't get ah, shit. I fucking get my impellers fixed oh, oh, oh. almost lost the boat there that was sketch do you guys have impeller kits in stock cool store it's like a Cabela's I got grease I got impellers I got an ammo box because you know. What do you need to do to get them running? Oh, that's the good news. Like, we're gonna be up and running in like three hours. Oh my God, look at all the wood. It's so much wood. You haven't seen that much wood? Awesome. Yeah, man. Nice to meet you guys. Have a good day. I need to go get tools. And then I need to use the tools on the boat. <laughs> I'm literally gonna fuck you up, Sam. You try that shit again. Act like an asshole first thing in the morning charging at me. Imagine Sam comes at me and I tased him. Um, all right, so it's this one that wasn't pissing. I fucking hate this. This is what I'm replacing, but look at all that. I don't know why they gave me this. They get, this is like one quarter the size of which I need. Hey Chad, this is Patrick. I just got some impellers from you. I think one of the biggest downfalls in our fucking society is that people don't know how to work on fucking engines. You know, if society crumbles, y'all better be ready to fix your own stuff because mechanics are not gonna be there to you know, out of those gonna be close. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Now it's beautiful, Kyle. Ready to go back in the water. How's it looking? There's nothing. nothing. Yeah, it seems even worse than before. No bueno. Well, that's disappointing. Well, what are you gonna do? With that, with the new development of that castle nut being loose, right? That would decrease the power because now the fucking prop is doing this, right? That's the vibration, bro.
Or are we off to? You always ask me that same question. Well, time to put this boat in the water and see if she's fixed. No fucking idea if it's fixed. No idea if it's not. <sighs> but I know that at least the rumbling's gonna be done. We're gonna get on those fucking waves. I'm gonna go find these Connex boxes because pretty soon they're gonna be too far away. I'm not gonna make any goddamn money. It's a frickin' rat race. How are we looking? No, no alarms. No, I have trouble telling if the engines are fixed at this point. Well, it's because you don't know dick about boats, Kyle. I'm just being honest. Yeah, that's fair. We're gonna see if that vibrating problem went down, which I'm 99.999% sure that's done. And if that vibrating goes down, we might not get that error again. It still doesn't explain why that's not pissing out. How's it sounding? Not super great. Here's Brendan. Pass fail. Hard fail, bro. Hard fail. How could it be with that house better? I just don't know. Some people check the crab pots overnight. What the fuck does that mean, Kyle? 
Hello. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Pretty good, how are you? Good. Well, goddamn. Oh, shit. Much less damage than those two cars. Yeah. All right, you're good to go. Uh, we got t t uh, tire pressure. You might have uh, ripped up your back rear tire. What do you mean? Your rear right. Uh, it was shredded and looking a little bit low. Shredded? Like you were shredding it on that uh, ramp, metal ramp. All right, I'll take a look at it. So now we're gonna go put the patrol, well, shit. Now we're gonna figure out if the patrol boat even works and what's going on there. And, uh, Hold on, Incas just messaged me. They want a picture of the front bumper. The tire is shredded, bro. It's got a lot, like a, a fucking gash right down it, but it's run flat, so I'm not worried about it. What do we have to do? Going back to see if the boat's ready. And there she is over there in, in Indiana. Who do you are you here with you? Like working on my like, man. Hi, pretty lady. Oh, she waved. Oh, wave, wave. Yeah, she did. Oh, damn. All that down there, too. More damage? Yeah. Bad? Not too bad. I ran over a couple of cars. So your grand total is $2,243.95. Oh, I was right on the money. You were, you were right there. So we're going to be able to get it in the water today? Yeah, we're going to go put it in the water right now and get it through the break. Could it be? Great success! Hold on. Pulled out of a kind of a tight area here. I'm used to putting big things in small places. Because I have a big truck.
Decent seas, Kyle. We're good. Not bad seas, but decent seas. This is fun. Thank you. 